FL Studio 20.0.4 has just been released, and in this video, I'm going to show you the highlights in this new version. It's not long ago since version 20 came out, but the staff at ImageLine are persistent, so they keep on pumping out those free updates. While this newest version is primarily a bug fix update, it does introduce two new major features which is worth mentioning. FL Studio has now been optimized for better CPU performance. If you have watched my video about how to get better CPU performance in FL Studio, you know that routing tracks to other tracks causes performance issues. You could always avoid this problem by not using mix buses, or submixes as they're also called, inside the program. However, Using submixes is extremely beneficial for a variety of reasons that I'm not going to go into right now. Because of this, a lot of people would rather spend the money and upgrade their computer instead so they could continue using submixes. I'm happy to see in this newest release they have optimized the way FL Studio handles internal routing. Any project using submixes or any other kind of internal routing should now see significant improvement in CPU usage. This goes for Patcher as well, which will now use less CPU power than before. Here's a quick comparison of a project playing in FL Studio version 12.5 versus this newest version. This is a fairly standard project with individual submixes for the drums, bass, leads, and so on. As you can see, there's a significant reduction in CPU usage in this newest version. This means that now you might be able to postpone that expensive upgrade you've been dreading. The other new feature introduced in this version is the Transpose feature. It's now possible to transpose multiple patterns at the same time. Just select the patterns you want to transpose, right-click and choose Transpose. Type in the amount you want to transpose it by. Let's transpose this up by three semitones. This is a great new feature. I've really missed this feature in FL Studio. In Cubase and most other linear DAWs, this was always very easy to do. But in FL Studio, you always had to do this manually for every individual pattern, which could be quite tedious. So this is a great new feature for sure. That's the two main things added in this new version. There's also some minor improvements and changes like the added delete button in the mixer. You can now delete an effect by just clicking and delete. Before you had to go to replace and then delete. This new delete button is great. Less menu driving equals faster workflow overall. The rest is mainly bug fixes and stability enhancements. For a full list of improvements and bug fixes so far, check out the link in the description below. I'm curious though, what kind of features are the most important to you? What would you like to see added or changed in FL Studio? Let's have a little discussion in the comments below. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. I want to thank our Patreons for their ongoing support. Also, check out the links below if you need professional mixing or mastering feedback on your music and so on. And as always, feel free to leave a comment if you have a question, or if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make in the future. Thanks for watching.